guys is here. Happy Solar Eclipse Day in Nashville. We are just under five minutes away. Murphy is already standing at the door. She thinks that she's going to get to see the eclipse, but she's not. Okay, guys, here in the Nashville area, it is 1158, which according to the internet means that the eclipse is starting right now, this very minute. So I have my glasses. I don't know if they work. I haven't tried them out or tested them or really done much with them at all, but here they are. Uh, so I'm gonna go outside and see if anything is happening. Could you excuse me? Could I go outside and see the eclipse? This is history being made right now. Could you excuse me? I only have one pair of glasses, so you can't go, but I do need you to know. All right, it is 12.08, so this thing has been happening for um, roughly 10 minutes now. So let's put on these um, expensive designer glasses. And, oh, that's pretty cool. There's like a little, just a little um, piece of the sun covered up. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, we're still clearly um, nowhere close to total darkness, but it's coming. So the joke is on all of us right now. It is 1218 here in Nashville, and there's a cloud completely covering the sun right now. So I can't see anything up there. Nothing, nothing. What a ripoff. I mean, you guys are seeing this too, right? We're supposed to be witnessing history right now. And there's a massive cloud covering up the sun. Unbelievable. It's still not dark. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away from um, going dark here, um, but a cool little fact, I read this might happen, um, again, you can't see it on the video, but it's definitely starting to get darker, and um, one of the things that I read could happen is that animals would start acting weird, and I just started hearing a bunch of crickets chirping, because um, apparently they think that it's, it's turning dark. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is gone. It's gone. The sun, the sun is gone. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. A total solar eclipse is an incredibly moving experience. In the continental U.S., there's going to be an amazing event on August 21st, 2017. A total eclipse of the sun. Well, a total solar eclipse is this incredible phenomenon that happens because of the sun being 400 times bigger than the moon, but also 400 times farther away. Suppose this tennis ball is the sun and the ping pong ball is the moon, and I'm a person on Earth looking at the two. If the moon is a bit too far away in its elliptical orbit, then it doesn't quite block the sun, and if it's too close, then it blocks not only the bright disk of the sun, but the inner corona as well. But if I line them up so that the ratio of distances is two to one, that's the same as the ratio of sizes, and then they look the same size in the sky. So the ping pong ball moon blocks the entire tennis ball sun. Nowhere else in the solar system is that the case. So if aliens were to visit our solar system, I claim they should visit Earth at the time and location of a total solar eclipse, and they would leave very happy. Well, the Space Sciences Lab, together with Google and a number of institutions, has decided to document the eclipse over the hour and a half that the shadow crosses the continental U.S. We've got about a thousand serious photographers taking good quality images of the sun, and anyone else who wants to contribute can do so as well. 
By having many images of the corona over the course of an hour and a half, we'll be able to examine the changing structure of the corona. And that's important because the satellites orbiting Earth right now can't monitor changes in the inner corona for technical reasons, but from the ground we can. Scientists want to understand the structure of the corona better because it tells us about the inner workings of the sun. There are solar flares and coronal mass ejections that then interact with Earth's magnetic field and can cause power blackouts. So the better we understand the sun, the more we will be able to respond to and indeed even predict these tremendous outbursts from the sun's surface. And that's something that citizen scientists will actually be able to help out with. If you don't make an attempt to go to the location where a total solar eclipse is happening, one will visit you roughly every 380 years. So this is a real opportunity for tens of millions of Americans and others throughout the world to see the total solar eclipse.